that. Let them bite you. Why? <laughs> because I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you? Tiny bubbles. <laughs> Why do you have a cup shaped like a toilet? <laughs> oh, watch out. Where'd it go? Where is it? Oh, it's coming back in. Just land, fly. Just land. Where's he going to? Where? Mm. Ah! I think I got it. Oh! Mm. Pretty sure I got it that time. Gotcha, sucker! Top of the morning, friends and family. How you wonderful, beautiful people doing out there? We've got <laughs> yet another clutch to share with you guys today. And we only have two more coming after this. The next clutch that we're sharing is pretty freaking fantastic, if I do say so myself. What's up, T? Bello! Bello, Bella! If you're coming over from Morph Market, there are chapter markers, so you can go to each individual snake down below. If you're just here to subscribe from the channel, well, thank you for being a subscriber. And I'm here with my co-host, the hey. tiny T. Bello! <laughs> and we're gonna show you the clutch. This is clutch 2306. Ooh. No, this is clutch 2305, which was ah. our Coral Glow Piebald, the king, paired with Bubbles, our champagne female. So we got some really cool results, and we're gonna take a look at those now. Actually, we have one of that, one from the same pairing from last season, an adult male Coral Glow Het Piebald champagne that we held back for breeding this coming season, so we'll have, give you a look at what that looks like as an adult as well. And he spilled something out of that thing. Hopefully it was just water. Not yes. sure. It smells like water. Yeah. So this is our first right here. This is a, a champagne, 100% het pied, and this one's going to be a female. We didn't get any normals, which is definitely possible. We got all champagnes. And look at this. Orange. Yeah, look, wait till you see if the other ones. The one, other ones have even more orange. Does it have a name? This does not have a name yet. <gasps> I will name it Chocolate because... Chocolate? You're gonna name this one Chocolate too? Yes! <laughs> it has some little things of chocolate. There's one that looks more chocolate than this one. Let's, let's move along. I want to name it Marshmallow. It has a bunch of white on the bottom and some white right mm. there. Now bite your finger. Yeah! All right, let's take a look at the next one. Okay, I'm definitely gonna name it chocolate. This is uh, another, this is the second core glow. Ooh, this one's ready to bite you too, T. <laughs> Woo! Don't be afraid, Snake. So this one has some nice, more contrast, I'd say, for champagne. Champagne's such a powerful gene. It just like obliterates most patterns. Uh, but this one's pretty cool. It's got Dad, uh, orange and chocolate. Get it away! <laughs> get it away! No, stop it! I'm just holding it. <laughs> Champagne is a gene that really is ready to have ringers and even non het piebalds have ringers, but when you add the uh, piebald trait in there, even if it's not a visual piebald, you oh, get wait. some more pronounced ringers. Uh -huh. <laughs> Instead of chocolate, I'm going to name this one. What? That's a weird name for a snake. I'm going to actually name that one crazy. This is female number three. It has even more orange and peach Definitely colors. Definitely going to name it orange. Orange, huh? It's a very inventive name, T. Uh, this one has a nice ringer on the back, too. Just a tiny ringer, but also some regular striping on the tail pattern there. So. What gender is it? This is a female. Oh, and a female is a girl. That's right. So we're going to take a look at the last female. Here we go. This is snake number four and the last female of the clutch. It's got some nice white on the face there. Uh, some really cool... I'm naming this one white, white. So we got, no, a chocolate, chocolate crazy orange, and white, white. Mm -hmm. Okay, four girls. And this one, these all look like they're ready to eat. I haven't had meals yet. As soon as they do, I'll start throwing them up on Morph Market and maybe the pre-established feature. We'll see how that goes. And uh, other than that, like, I think we're about we're about ready to move on to the Coral Glow males. Oh, this one also has, like, kind of a really darker spot on one side of its head. It's almost, like, Chimera-esque. And a male is a boy. That's right. Let's look at the boys. Hello. 
So here we go, snake number five, and the first boy of the clutch, Champlain Coral Glow. We've got some nice little purples and peaches and oranges and a little ringer there on the tail just for good measure. Fruit fly, die fruit fly. I'm gonna name it Peach. You gonna name this one Peach? Yes. That's an interesting name for a boy. But hello, Peach. Sorry about that name. <laughs> Let's look at the next one. I just like naming snakes cute name. I... Woo! Whoa, 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 take it easy there, home slice. This one is on point and alert. Mm. Still a little bit of cocoa blocks. This one has a lot of, like, the much deeper orange. Look at that stance right there. That's a pretty cool stance, don't you think, T? Look at that stance. It has a little bit of sunset on it. I'm naming it sunset. A little bit of fiber there. That snake is on point. Look at how on point that snake is. This one has some real nice, deep orange stuff happening. And like I mentioned, I'll, I'll take it, a look at the sibling from last year so you guys like, can see how these age. It's like Sunset. Yeah, it does have some kind of like sunset color. Uh, Look, it's... <laughs> help me. <laughs> what? You're not close enough for anything to happen to you. That let him bite you. Why? <laughs> because I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you? It's just so funny. Remember how feisty tried to pull off you? Oh, it's pretty smart. It's like, that's not a mouse. That's not a rat. Not biting me, T. Okay, then instead of sunset, I'm gonna name it small. Thinking about cats. it though, this one's gonna be ready. As soon as it smells a rat, I think it's gonna be ready to go. Look at how on point that snake is. That's awesome. Then feed it tonight and see how it goes. All oh, right. and I wanna come down. <laughs> All right, T. Instead of sunset, I'm gonna name it Smarty Pants. Smarty Pants, all right. All right, Mr. Smarty Pants, that's snake number six. The second male, Smarty Pants. Definitely quite quite, quite aware. Look at that. <laughs> Smarty Pants, why did you fall over? So snake number seven here has quite the ringer there. Another Coral Glow Champagne, of course. All right, now I'm gonna name this one Sunset. Good looking boy there. Because doesn't this look like sunset? It does look like a sunset, you're right. A beautiful sunset at that, I would say, T. Yeah. All right, let's take a look beautiful at Beautiful is it gonna be its nickname. Okay, sunset, AKA beautiful. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the last snake. <laughs> All right, here we go, the last snake, snake number eight, the last male. This one, I think, had the most beautiful shade of orange, which is why I saved him for last. And he's also got a nice white on his lips and just a really cool look. So Aww. this was my favorite one of the clutch. That's why he got chosen as number eight. Mm -hmm. I'm still thinking of a name. Okay. You should better name him. I should better name him? Yes. I'll name him Hoof Doof. <laughs> <laughs> should we look at his brother from last year? <gasps> yes. Okay. So oh. this is a male from the last season. Of that. Whoa, hey, he's hungry, <laughs> I guess. From the same, same, uh, same, cl or same pairing as this clutch that we just showed you. Does it have a name? This is Don Ho. <laughs> I wanted to name it Lemon. Nope, Don Ho. But it has yellow on it. Yeah, but his mom was named Bubbles, and that's why I named him Don, <laughs> Don Ho. Leave a comment down below if you get that reference. Oh. After Saturday, after we've been doing these uh, clutch sharing videos, Nose Picker, we've been doing an update on Baby Brother, a weekly update on Baby Brother. Should we go do that? Yeah, and by the by, if you're watching this the morning that it came out, you should be come seeing us at the Reptile Super Show, because that's where we're at right now watching it. But here's my baby bell. Oh. But, but that's quite the update. Quite the update on my breads. Uh, Bredas, what's, what, what's happening, Bredas? <laughs> we need an update, Bredas. Tell, give us the update. Update. <laughs> update. He's, he's not talking. He's, he's not here to talk. We need, we need an update. Um, Why'd you put those glasses back on so fast? Oh, I don't know. Hiding my tired eyes. No, I'm kidding. Um, he's great. Three months. Um, sleeping good. Eating good. Almost rolling. I don't know. He's amazing. <laughs> three months, one week. We did three months last week. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> we're doing weekly updates. Weekly updates. Weekly updates. Weekly updates on the Butter Butter. So you guys take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Thank you for watching the video. Um, I'm sure I have a lot of other announcements I'm forgetting, but uh, let's just say that I forgot them. <laughs> See you on the next video. Aloha. Hey, SWAT guy. <laughs> we really could have used your help in there. In where? Just getting all the flies. Ah, you're the swatter. <laughs> Get it? Isn't that what your job is?
Java's the uh, swat flies? Mm, maybe. Isn't that the job of a swatter? <laughs>